Okay, second example again. Notice that your x's are lined up, your y's are lined up, your numbers without a variable are lined up. So you're ready to go. Now, also remember we are always adding these together. And so I want you to stop and look for a second. If I add negative 4x and a 10x, do those give you 0? No. Is a 10y plus a 10y 0? No. So this is a little different than number one. We are going to have to manipulate or change one of the equations so that we can get rid of one of the variables. Now it doesn't matter which variable you get rid of first, it does not matter at all. You want to play the game smartly, meaning you want to do less work, you want to keep it as easy as possible. So when I'm looking at this, I see 10 and 10, and I know if one of these were a negative, they would cancel out to zero. So before I'm adding them together, again, one of your terms have to cancel out. So doesn't matter which equation I chose in this case, I'm choosing the second equation and I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. I'm trying to make this not blurry. Why am I going to do that? Because if I could change this to a negative 10, 10 minus a 10 would cancel out to 0. So it's really important you stay organized with these sorts of problems. I'm going to rewrite that top equation. I didn't do anything to it, but I want to rewrite it just to have everything lined up. Then I'm going to rewrite my second equation with the negative 1 distributed in. So negative 1 times 10x is negative 10x. Negative 1 times 10y is negative 10y. Negative 1 times negative 30 is 30. Okay. So now, stop and take a look. Can we add these together and get one of the variables to go away? Well, let's look. What's negative 4x minus 10x? That's going to be a negative 14x. What's a 10y plus a negative 10y? You're right. Those cancel out because that is what we just wanted to happen. And then what's a 26 plus a 30? That is a 56. So to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 14. And 56 divided by negative 14, you can use your calculator, is negative 4. Oh my gosh, we got the same x value as before. <laughs> Please don't think this is always your answer, it's just the problems I chose. Okay, so do I have to go through the whole process again to find y? No. Remember we talked about pick one of the original equations, whichever one looks easiest to you. Um, I'm just going to pick the first one. I'm going to do my work over here. And I'm going to put negative 4 in for x. So I'm negative 4. Instead of writing x, I'm writing negative 4 plus 10y. Oh gosh, sorry, I'm focusing on the wrong thing. Equals 26. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. So to solve for y, I'm going to subtract 16. I get 10y equals 26 minus 16 is 10. I'm going to divide both sides by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. You just found the y value of your answer. Again, please do not think the answer is always negative 4, 1.